Hi viewers, Namaste. In analyzing any chat pattern, the winning edge which you need to have is to read the crowd and to understand the order flow of buyers and sellers. You should be able to see the reflections of human behavior in this chat. You should understand the sentiment that is behind the price movements. By this way, you will be more active in that script. So, in this video, let us see what is the psychology behind the head and shoulder pattern and of course, how to recognize it, how to confirm it and finally, how to trade a head and shoulder pattern. So, welcome to the world of get trading. Let us first see what is a head and shoulder pattern. You will also know how to recognize a chart pattern after seeing this. In an uptrend, proper uptrend, that is, every swing is forming higher highs and higher lows. The price will form the continuation swing with another set of higher highs. Let us forget about higher lows for a moment. Now, the actual story starts here. Continuing the uptrend, there should be another swing formed with one more higher high, right? But due to decrease in buying pressure and rejection of higher prices by sellers, the swing forming next will not have a higher high but a lower high compared to the previous swing. Now, the combination of these three swings is nothing but head and shoulders pattern. When this pattern is formed in an uptrend, it is treated as a trend reversal pattern. When this pattern forms at a major resistance level, it adds more confirmations. This is called first shoulder. Most people call it as the left shoulder. This is called as head, no confusions. And this we will call as right shoulder. These look like the person's head and shoulders. See? Now, let's dig more on the proceedings of this pattern. As you now know how to recognize this pattern, by seeing this, you will know how to confirm it. Okay, let's go back to where we started. The trend is up and going well. We can confirm this trend one more way by drawing a trend line. In an uptrend, the trend line is drawn by connecting the swing slows. Right? So, this is the trend line which can also be called as diagonal support. See here. Every swing is respecting the line and bouncing back. But here, price pierced through the support line and even crossed it. In price action terms, we can say this as breakout from a bullish trend line. This is the first case where we can get a hint that there may be a slowdown in the trend's intensity. Okay, the next swing fails to form a new high which it should form if the uptrend is strong. Second hint that the trend may reverse. In most of the cases, this right shoulder is like price retesting the breakout of this support line. To get more confirmations, Draw a line connecting the lows of the two recent swings. This is very most important component of a head and shoulder pattern and is called as a neckline. When the price crosses this line and closes below it, then with more confirmations, we can be more confident that the uptrend has been finished and the trend is reversed. More chances of a downtrend and some chances of a sideways trend follows. Now. Let us see the same pattern with what might have happened between buyers and sellers. Sentiment behind this. Again, back to the initial trend. As time progresses, new buyers are jumping in seeing the trend and most of the traders who bought before are still holding, moving the price higher and forming a new high. Here, some traders book profits and also shorters take that position to capture the anticipated pullback. So, price moves still here and settles. This we call as left shoulder. Now, watching price come to an old support level, new buyers will find interest and again enter into market, pushing the prices higher. Shorters who have entered here seeing this up move exit from their positions which adds more to this up move. Note here, all the buyers in this region along with the buyers entered here are happy with this move and so many are still holding their positions. Now, price makes a new high. At this point, some buyers from here close their positions happily. So again, as usual, profit bookings of buyers or entry of new shorters starts and price corrects. Important thing to note here is, those people who know that the price can't go above this level will aggressively book their profits too. And again, most of the buyers will not be interested to buy from here. So combined together, this pullback will be more as selling pressure increased. As a result, Support line breaks and price plunges more creating a new low which is below the support line. Many of the buyers here may still hold their positions anticipating up move again. This is called as head. Now, 
Seeing the price coming down and treating it as a discount, few new buyers come in and try to push the price higher. Shorters here too book their position which makes the price go up. But at this point, there won't be too much buying interest and so will fail to make a new high when compared to the previous high. At this point, buyers at left shoulder are at break even and buyers at the head area are at small loss. Okay, with no new buyers, we can't say sentiment has been completely shifted yet, but we can say that the bullish power is fading slowly. Now, new aggressive shorters enter the market and even more buyers exit their positions, booking the profits, making the price fall. In most cases, the volume in this pullback will be more than the previous volumes as many traders of here exit their trades. Now, when the price crosses this neckline, those who went long at these areas will be in a panic who will add to the selling pressure. In other words, sentiment will be completely shifted from bullish to bearish. Understood? Now, let us see the usage part. As we now know that this pattern is a trend reversal pattern, we should also know how to trade it, right? That should be our main motto. There are three styles of trading this head and shoulders pattern. 1. The aggressive method. When an aggressive trader observes this break in the trend line and when prices go lower than it, he waits for the price to rise again. He takes a SR flip or a candlestick pattern confirmation and jumps into the trade. This is considered a low odds trade and you will be stopped out more often because there is no clear sign of a trend reversal. But if the prediction proves right, he will be the most profitable person of the whole story. So high risk and high returns. Next, conservative method. A trader draws a neckline and waits for the price to break below this neckline support area. As this method has more confirmation, risk will be less. Next, might miss. These are retracement traders. They are confident that the price will go down but will wait for a price to retest this support line. You may guess the limitation of this style. Yes, the downtrend of the price might continue and may not retest the neckline. But again, these are the people who are happy to miss a trade but wants to get maximum profits from a trade. It's you who need to decide which style you take. For more obvious reasons, until you become a master of analysis, we suggest you to use this conservative method to trade this pattern. Again, it's your money, your way. Okay, let us see the stop loss and targets of this head and shoulder pattern. In this pattern, the stop loss should be few pips above this right shoulder. Because if it closes above it, then it may hint that the price is continuing its uptrend. Next, target. The height of this head tip from the neckline should be taken as the target. In your platform, you need to draw a line from the head to the neckline, copy it and paste it near the neckline. The top of the line should be adjusted to the neckline and the price at bottom of this line will be your target. Okay. Lastly, there can be three ways this head and shoulder pattern may form. The retracement of the head can give equal low of previous swing or its low may be higher than the previous low or its low may be lower than the previous low, right? Only these variations are possible when we take this low into account. In other words, the neckline can be horizontal in this way or inclined in this way or declined in this way, right? Why I am showing this is, the entry signal of the first two can fetch us good results if the price goes our way. But in this third case, the price may touch the neckline very far from the trend and you may not be left with more move after the cross of this neckline. So in this case, it's better to draw a horizontal line of this low and when price crosses that low, you can consider it as an entry and take a trade. This fears is all about head and shoulders. The opposite of everything we saw will be the inverse head and shoulder. It will be a trend reversal too, but when formed in a downtrend, it hints an uptrend from there. Please work out yourselves about this inverse head and shoulders seeing this video and taking everything opposite. You will surely get to know about inverse head and shoulders and by this way you will be very confident in both these patterns.
हैव ए हैप्पी सेफ एंड प्रॉफिटेबल ट्रेडिंग जय हिंद